Hey everybody, you're rocking and rolling here with the Shemmies today. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. We are doing meat and potato pizza with the Shemmies. We just call it meat and potatoes and uh, I'll tell you what, it's fantastic. So let's have a look here. There we have our pizza dough. Look at that. Already set up by Johnny. Johnny does the doughs. I don't do doughs well. I don't do baking bread, stuff like that. I do grilling, frying, cooking, you, you name it, eh? Uh, anything with butter, I'm in. And uh, here she has stuffed the crust with provolone and beautiful sirloin steak that we marinated for four to five days in the fridge just because we always go the extra mile with the chamois when we cook so uh it's very tender seasoned flavored got lots of flavors when you bite into it you really get that and here we got some homemade peeled the potatoes deep fried steak. big steak wedges is that what they are steak wedges awesome <laughs> we got steak wedges and we're rocking and rolling i knew there was a certain word i just call them french fries i just call them good anyhow okay so here's what we're going to do you guys so when you do this you get your steak and everything ready to rock and roll there and you cut them fairly thin just comfortable like so now when you stuffed your crust here john already did a whole bunch as you can see which is very nice of her so everybody thanks thanks john um because that's a big job uh we'll tuck that in there just like that and then we're gonna take our provolone. You gotta use provolone, you guys. Just beautiful. Okay, edit, cut. Sorry, we had a little malfunction at the junction there. Not Petticoat Junction, not the Mackenzie Junction. The Chamois Junction. That's okay, we hit a little button there and it went south on us. You always love it when another video interrupts me. So anyhow, here's our stuffed crust, as you can see. Look at that. You can always add a little extra stuff in there too, like garlic and stuff, but I had a lot of garlic in the steak. So uh, that being said, you guys, with the garlic and the steak and stuff, it's enough garlic. We don't need any extra. And you just take these wonderful edges like so. You just tuck them over. Don't overthink it. Now this one to puff up nice, big crust you can rip and tear. Look at that. Great for game days, hockey games, you name it. Company coming over, play a little Scrabble, Monopoly. Um, of course, after COVID, uh, once the rules lift. But, uh, you know, come over. You've got family over. Make one of these. They're going to love it. So now what we're going to do here, you guys, is I've sweated down these wonderful onions we diced up. Throw a little butter to it. Sweat them down good. Get a little color there going. Put some salt in there. A little black pepper, too. Just gives them onions a little something extra. So we're going to layer this down. Now, when you make meat and potato pizza with the chamois, meat and potatoes, I'll tell you, you gotta have onion. Am I right, John, or am I wrong? You're absolutely right. 100%. 100%. Now, you just caramelize them up a little bit, and you're gonna just take these here. Now, if you don't like onions, don't put them on. Don't put them on. Use whatever you wanna put. I just spread them out like this so you're not chewing on just solid bricks of onion. Spread that all out there like that. Let that go in there. Now, some of that butter that we've got in the onion that we're sweating down with, that's gonna help lubricate up that bottom. Look at that, look at that butter on there. Get a close up of that shine, would you? Just like you turtle wax that thing. <clears throat> Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Next, you guys, we have our sirloin, or uh, sorry, our uh, steak wedges, as you can see. You can call them sirloin, they're thick. Mm. Now, yeah. what I do with these, you guys, John peeled them for me, I deep fried them, and then as soon as they come out, I hit them with sea salt. Mm. Mm. The flavor there, beautiful. We won't put that on because I had a bite off of it. I'll finish that later. So what we're going to do here, you guys, so we're just kind of, you want to almost go counterclockwise with these things. As you can see, just get them going like this. Beautiful, beautiful, you guys. Look at this. I love this. Oh, these are, this is such a, we've done this several times. And this is such a fantastic, just such a fantastic uh, meal. I'll tell so you. So good. It's so good and hearty too, right? Mm. Especially middle of winter time. You know, it's cold out. We just had weather here that was 40 below Celsius. And I'll tell you what, that, uh, that 40 below, that'll make you want to get into some comfort food and that'll do it right here for you. And then I'm gonna take some of this here, our sirloin, and drop it all over here. See how nice that is, you guys? Just layer it in there. Don't You don't have to be picky. We're just, you're eating it anyway, so. Just go like that. You're just gonna rip and tear anyhow, like that. How's that look, John? Oh, it looks what perfect. do you think, Johnny? Mm. Not too bad, not too bad. Throw some there cheese we go. in there. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little cheese on there too. First of all though, I'm gonna sweat her down with a little oregano. So when that cheese sweats down, it's pulling all that, that grease is just pulling that oregano into them beautiful fries and into that dough. There's a little oregano, just for flavor. And then here's our provolone, you guys. So. That. Oh, beautiful. Let's put a little bit here to hold the next set of fries down. There we go. Because we're going to go two sets of fries here, guys. Now that'll hold that down. And then we're going to finish it off with a little more steak and a little more cheese. And then we're going to town. 
And uh, what town? And, well, I'll tell you where we're going. <laughs> we're going to Malville. <laughs> That's where you're Mao and pizza and enjoying it. I'll tell you. So this is fantastic here, you guys. Look at this. Wow. Doesn't that look good? It looks delicious. Oh, just give that a little love, just like so. Can't wait to eat this, you guys. It's gonna be great. So there. How's that looking, John? Oh, beautiful. What do you think? It looks beautiful. Are you going to go Horkyville on this, Alabama, or no? I might. I might go Horkyville on it, too. Uh, I'm trying to lay out of the carbs, you guys. So this ain't actually uh, the best for my regime. But I'll pick a few steak bites off and have a little bit of cheese. Kind of keto-friendly. And uh, I might even, I'll have to sneak a bite of the crust. Just because just you have to. When you cook like this, you gotta you got to try it so you know what's good. And, what, and you got to try your stuff so that you can know what to add next time. Sometimes when I, you know, make a meal like this or I make a meal or a, a dish or whatever... I give it a whirl, try it, hmm, could use this, could use that, maybe some cashews next time. You know, you gotta give it a little kick in the ass. And, and uh, you know, with, with uh, you know, more black pepper, maybe chilies would go good. So, you know, just stuff like that. Be creative when you cook. Don't be afraid to add things and try either. Like this here, if the kids weren't eating it, I'd have this piled in great big steak mushrooms and mm. black olives, maybe a little pineapple. But doing it for the family, family man, looking out for the kids. Okay, and we're gonna just top here with a few more bits of steak, you guys. Just like that. Look at this. Okay, now the oven we're gonna preset for what temp there, John? 350, please. We're gonna rock and roll at 350 here. Fire that in there. Now, John, this roux, are we gonna put the roux on now? Roux goes on after. Okay, so I'm just gonna explain it while we're heating up this oven. Here we have some beautiful, beautiful roux. Flour, butter, heavy cream and uh, mozzarella, lots of mozzarella. You can use a pizza mozzarella, but we just went with a regular mozzarella. Just breaks down a little bit better, it's not so stringy. And uh, you're gonna dump that on after, and we're gonna dump a little bit of beef, uh, I always forget how to pronounce it, au jus, or au jus, however you say it, I don't know. I just know how to make it. So that's going in there, and uh, we're gonna do some topping and some fixing, and come on back for the eating. Shemmies, we love ya. We're going big time, just like Burt Reynolds. Love him. Okay, you on? Oh, we're on. live. Here we are, you guys. Welcome back to the Shemmies. We got this out of the oven, guys. Just have a look, John. Have a look, John. Look at this here, you guys. This is our Shemmies meat and potato pizza. Look at that. Stuffed crust, stuffed with sirloin steak, marinated for four days in the fridge uh, with provolone cheese. Mm. Now, what you do, guys, is when you marinate that steak, go with the flavors you really like, and that's the flavors you're gonna get in that crust. I'll tell you, lots of garlic. We've used onion, salt and pepper, Montreal steak spice. Bang on, you guys. So now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how we flange this up, okay? Here, I have a homemade gravy. As you can see right there, just a little bit of brown gravy. You just dump it all around like so. Make a mess if you want, like I'm doing right now. You don't want too much gravy, just enough. There you are, that's gonna soften them potatoes up even more. Look at that. You got the crust on the outside of them potatoes and that gravy, mm, so good. And here's our roux, you guys. Heavy cream, flour, butter, away you go. How's that look, John, you ready? Beautiful, go for excellent, it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So this here, you just pile in like this, you guys. Oh, oh that's fantastic, that. I'll tell you what. Look at this, just please look at this. Come on in, you guys. <laughs> There you have it, there you have it. I like lots of that. You don't have to put on as much. And I know I should never do this while I'm in the middle of a show, but I, I just have to snap a couple pictures for my social media. Apologize for that. Wonderful, wonderful people you are. Thank you. So let's try this out, you guys. Let's try this out. Let me do a little, the spin test. There's the spin test. Have a look, you guys. Just have a look. Now, what I like to do, you guys, is I cut into it right about here. Oh, this is gonna be phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Look at that. It's thick, so you're gonna either wanna bring the husk of Arna into the house or a, or a bone saw. We let it uh, rise long time. We let it rise good and tough. Boy, I'll tell you what, I'm having a big piece because this is just what we're doing. Let's just try this dough, you guys. Oh, mm. beautiful. Oh, you can taste that steak in there. There's not even a piece of steak in there. Look at that. <laughs> mm. Hey, oh, this, this is beauty, you guys. This is beauty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, man. I can't believe I just did that. Look right there, you guys. Look right there. Oh, get a little chili flake on there. We got a little ranch here on the side. Are you guys looking at this? Look at that. Look at that, everybody. That is amazing. Right on. I uh, just can't wait to try this, you guys. And look at... 
Looks amazing. Oh, it's not look amazing. Let guys. us know how it tastes. Well, I'm gonna try it right now, Johnny. Give me two seconds. I just gotta run, grab a knife and fork. Give him another close up of how beautiful that looks. Oh, guys, I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait for this. Let me just show you what I do, guys. I put a little fresh parsley on top here as well. A uh, little black pepper too, just to go. Oh, so good. You guys ready for this? I hate even doing this do it. on camera, but I'm going to do it. Uh, I always feel bad eating in front of everybody, Brookie. <laughs> look at that. Just look at that, you guys. Hmm. Oh. What's... Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, really, I'm not even kidding you. It is that good, that onion. Mm. How about that the onion and potato, you guys? Fry. Oh, just, oh. Chemi's meat and potato pizza, you guys. It's definitely a must. Put it in your recipe book. I'm working on a cookbook right now for you. Wonderful people that want some of these beautiful recipes. Unfortunately, it's all eyeball, but I'll tell you what. That crust, that crust is just beautiful. It's a little bit, uh, just the way I like it. Just, oh, just bang on. <laughs> a little bit soft and then a little bit of a crunch right at the tail end. It's just beautiful. Johnny, beautiful job on the pizza. Mm. I love you. Nobody chasing me for <clears throat> I love you all. Thank you very much, you guys, for tuning into the show. We need to come on back, watch the Shemmies hang out, cook together, you guys. Send me some recipes. We're all sticking together here. Uh, we're all fellow foodies. So, love you. See the Shemmies next time.